Hey mama, it's Tori from Mommy Bar. Well, today I really am just feeling like I need to be a little active. I've been doing a lot of work. Yesterday we drove our son to Philly for his infusion. So lots and lots of sitting, so I need to get some energy out. Also get some energy from doing a little bit of exercise because I've been tired. And just kind of work on my legs and really establishing that core again. For this workout, I just have two little um, two-pound weights that I'm going to use, which you're free to use weights if you want something a little bit heavier, but I like to go with two pounds, three pounds max, just because sometimes we're holding our arms out a lot. Um, and then also, feel free to do it without any weights, because holding your arms out is also a workout. Um, or you can grab some soup cans. So, all right, we're just going to start. We're going to roll through those feet, warm up those ankles. And concentrate on those nice deep breaths in and out. Each time you exhale, really pull that belly button into your spine. Good. Four more here. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to get into a nice wide second position. So your feet are going to be a little bit further than hip width apart. We're going to take our arms, go to a nice plie down. Inhale, exhale up. When you bend down, I still want you to feel that pelvic floor engaged. And then that's kind of using, acting as an elevator to lift you all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale up. And feel free to do this at your own pace. If I'm a little too fast, you can slow down and do um, one plie for every two that I do. Good, two more. Remember to keep that belly button in towards your spine. And last one. All right, we're gonna bring our feet in just a little bit closer. Nice slight bend in your knees. We're going to do some arm circles. So this you want to really feel like it's coming from your back. And that you're not using your shoulders to do this. Good as well. We're keeping that belly button holding nice and tight. All right, let's reverse that circle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right. We're going to do one of my favorite warm ups to really feel that core. So we're going to start doing some marches. Yeah. Pull that belly button all the way back to your spine. And even though it just seems like so, such a simple exercise, this little march, you're going to feel that burn start in your core. And I like to add in opposite arm, opposite leg. So you're getting that opposition across your core. Good. Last four here. Three more. Two more. And last one. All right. I'm going to put the weights down for now. You can feel free to hold on to them or hold them in front of you. I'm just going to go around to the other side of the bar. And if you have something at home, like a chair, your wall, if you have a bar at home, just grab onto that. We're going to do some metal weights here. So this is if you need the balance. We're just going to lift up and down. Five, six, seven, eight, and then eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. But we're going to keep our heels lifted. We're going to squeeze our feet together so our heels are pressed against each other. And you're going to feel that nice inner thigh. Squeeze, feel like you're zipping yourself all the way up, like there's a string pulling you up to the ceiling through your head. And we're going to squeeze those heels together as we plie, and then press your legs straight. Good. 
all the while. Still working on that belly button. Pull back to your core. And you're going to feel this in your pelvic floor as well. Each time you press those heels closer and closer together. Good. On this last one, we're going to stay bent. You're going to press those heels and you're going to try to balance. Keeping those heels pressed together. You'll feel that in your thighs. Keeping that core nice and tight. Good for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You can shake your legs if your um, quads are a little tight. Now we're going to put our feet parallel. We're going to relevate up and down here. For eight, and four more, three more, two more, last one. Now this is the one I like to have something solid to hold on to. Um, so if you can, you can grab one to the wall or a chair that's not going to move. And we're going to keep our legs, I'm sorry, keep our feet in that relevate position. Core nice and tight, pelvic floor engaged. And we're going to bend down as far as we can and squeeze up. So it's like you're sticking your chest out. This time you're down, you really engage, feel those glutes lifting you up. Good, two more here. And here I'm snapping and cracking. <laughs> All right, now we're going to turn our toes in slightly. Heels are going to be out. We're going to lift and lower. This is going to work the outside of our calves. A little bit different than a normal row bed. Good, so if you're just joining in or looking for something to do, Okay. All right, after these, we're going to keep our heels lifted and we're going to pulse down and up, dropping your heels about an inch. Good. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. You can bend, you can take one leg to the back, push that heel down to the back. Bend your front leg, get a nice stretch. Good, we're going to switch legs. Press the other heel back towards the floor. Bend that front leg. All right, I'm going to turn this to show you. Again, this is a good one if you have a wall, if you have the side of the couch a bar, a chair, something that's stationary that's not going to move. We're going to work on some glutes and your core is obviously going to be working when we're doing what we're doing next. So, um, push this up here. These are some arabesques and some leg work. Now, depending on where you are in your pregnancy or if you're postpartum and you're doing this wearing baby, you're going to want to be standing up straighter doing these or only hinging a little bit forward. If you have baby, you're going to want to support them. But since I'm only four weeks and you can do this all the way throughout your pregnancy if you're comfortable and able to really maintain that core um, strength, pulling that belly button to your spine, feel free to get a nice flat back and then you're going to take your leg out. So what we're going to do so we're just going to start, our bottom leg is going to be straight, our um, working leg is going to be straight, and we're just going to tap that down, come back up. And you only want to lift up as far as you can maintain your core nice and tight and that you're not popping your rib cage. And what I mean by popping your rib cage is that you're really arching your back, your rib cage is sticking open. So if you need, keep a hand on your ribs. And move it from their core to make sure you're keeping that belly in nice and tight. Up to your ribs to make sure that you feel like they're not really um, pushing out. Good. I think we've done about 20 here. All right. Now we're going to bend this bottom leg. 
and we're going to tap our leg behind us, and we're going to straighten it and go out to the side. Take a nice inhale, exhale. Each time you come up to the side, you want to keep those hips as even as you possibly can. Two more here, and last one. Then we're going to bend that bottom leg, and we're going to do some circles here with our back leg. So you're going to draw a little circle here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go reverse that circle. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You're gonna stand up. Um, you're gonna stand on that leg that you was, su was supporting you. Stick that hip to out to the side again, keeping that core nice and tight. We're gonna stretch over to the side. Feel a nice stretch down your side and down your hip. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other leg. So we're going to have our bottom leg straight, working leg straight, and we're going to tap it up and down. And we're going to go for 20 because I think that's about where we were when I was talking last time. Remember, keep that nice inhale, exhale breath. So when you exhale, feel that belly button pull tighter and tighter into your spine. Good, and we'll do a couple more because that didn't feel like enough. Good, two more. And last one. So we're going to bend, cross that leg over, take it out to the side, keeping those hips nice and straight. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we're going to bend that bottom leg, straighten that back leg, and we're going to do circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Keep that belly button in. Four, three, two, one. Good. Then reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and last one. Good. Gonna stand on that leg that was just a supporting leg. Stick that hip out and do a nice stretch over to the side. Good. All right. So to stretch, we're gonna do our side stretches. We're just gonna take bend our legs and we're just gonna rock. Side to side, stretching one leg out at a time. All right, we're going to do a nice hip flexor stretch here. So this is up to your um, flexibility. And now remember, you're going to have that relaxing in your body, so you don't want to stretch over stretch too much. But for a hip flexor, this is a nice way to start, where you bend your front leg, lift your back heel, and press into that. If you're comfortable enough, feel free to take your knee down and press into that, but also make sure that your bottom knee is not going over your front toes. And then it's not going side to side, that your knee and your toes are pointed in the same direction, and that you're not just sticking your belly out or arching your back too much. You can switch sides. So remember, make sure you hit subscribe so you get updates on all of our new videos that come out. Every week, we have a couple coming out. And like the video, share it with any of your friends who are pregnant or new mamas. And comment below if something that you would like to see us do, see me do as a video um, for exercises. All right, now we're going to do one last one for our hamstrings. You're going to bend your back leg, flex your front leg, and do a nice stretch forward. 
depending on your flexibility, you can put your hands down, you can put your hands here, or just hold on to something so you can keep your balance. And then we'll strap the switch leg, stretch this leg. And then I always like to finish. Put your feet together, roll yourself up, clasp your hands behind you, get a nice stretch, and just roll your neck side to side. Well, thanks for joining me for our second pregnancy workout, our second prenatal workout. And subscribe, like us, um, like the video, and follow us on all of our social media accounts, and let me know what you would like to learn. All right, I'll see you at the bar.